guys, welcome back to my channel. Kemon Achutamu Shabai. How are you guys doing? So, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some empty products and whether I will be repurchasing, uh, repurchasing them or not. So, yeah, this is going to be a, a mini review and an empty video. So, yes, so without any further ado, uh, let's get started. So my first empty is a cleanser. So, this is simple repression cleanser. This is nothing new. I have talked about this product over and over on my channel so it has a aloe vera kind of consistency and uh, it doesn't foam up so much but uh, it, yeah it foams decently and it is good it is uh, good for sensitive and acne prone skin people and uh, oily even dry skin people so it is a cult favorite product and I'm definitely gonna be purchasing it again so the second item it should be first item though but the second item is this uh, face shop hard day cleansing cream so it looks something like this actually i bought it a while ago though i never tried it completely uh, so it it is a cream for it is a cream formula and it is very good uh, to get away all the makeup from your face but uh, one con is that it irritated my eye when I used it so I stopped using it and now I don't think it is even usable because see it it becomes like creamy and liquidy but it, it should be cream formula in consistency but uh, I'm not gonna repurchase it again because I have so many oil cleansers the DHC cleansing oil then uh, I have a uh, Claire's cleansing oil and then the face shop cleansing oil so uh, no I am not gonna repurchasing it again but if you have if you are tight on budget then maybe you can try this but I think uh, the plum uh, cleansing wait I, I have it here so I think if you really wanna uh, like uh, want something to remove your makeup I think the plum cleansing uh, balm is way better than this so yes, I, 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 I'm, I'm never buying it again. And if you are really want to try something in, if, if you really want to try something in budget, then try the Plum Cleansing Mom. Yeah. If you have seen my uh, Muji toner review, you know that I broke the cap and that's why I had to transfer the toner in separate bottle. So I stored it in this bottle. Uh, and uh, it is almost over and one thing with the Muji toner that the company claims to finish the product within three months or uh, it's better to uh, finish this in uh, within six months but I used the toner for like uh, nearly nine months and I did not see any kind of breaking or uh, damaging of the product or it, it, it became rotten no uh, like it was perfectly fine I think I've stored it properly because I stored it in a this uh, black bottle and I think that's why it was safe to use but yeah I think a little bit of product is still left but I, 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 I'm not gonna use it on my face anyways okay just let me show you it is a runny texture and it is extremely soothing uh, remember in my keep cool okay there is the toner so remember in my keep cool toner I told you that it is extremely soothing the Muji toner is more soothing than the keep cool toner but um, yeah it, it is a long time of uh, it being here so I'm not gonna use it on my face and uh, I have a lot of toner to uh, finish right now so I am not currently buying it uh, right now but I am definitely gonna buy it again and uh, thank you Ajio to bring this beautiful product in India yeah the next empty is uh, this minimalist sepicum oat moisturizer so I I'm not buying it again I know some I mean some of you uh, like die for uh, this uh, can die for this moisturizer but trust me I, this is so hard to work with if I like if I use a lot of uh, because I have a tendency to use a lot of moisturizer on my face so if I take too much it it kind of starts to I don't know it starts to uh, became like a thicker consistency like I'm applying a thick cream it became a thick cream and then it disappears and it did not uh, give me the more the 
like utmost moisturizing effect that I want from a moisturizer so yeah but, but they are um, the ceramide moisturizer for oily skin it is the best moisturizer uh, from minimalist yeah so I I'm not gonna buy this again but I'm definitely gonna buy the minimalist ceramide oily version moisturizer for the rest of my life because it is budget friendly it has five kinds of uh, ceramides in it and the ratio is amazing and that is 3 is to 1 is to 1 uh, yeah, it, it resembles our face uh, and uh, yeah it is good so I am not gonna buy this but I'm definitely gonna buy other moisturizers from minimalist the very next moisturizer is this Dr. Shades moisturizer and I cut it to yeah I cut it open because I, I just could not get my hands on the last scoop of moisturizer uh, cream yeah so I cut it and I know it is not friendly to cut this product because then it creates more waste but I, I, I just could not could not control myself yeah this is a very good moisturizer it is like it is like a jelly kind of uh, it is somewhere between a gel and a cream and uh, it is a mixture kind of moisturizer and i totally loved it it has vitamin e and ginseng uh, if you are using vitamin c based serum then top it up top it off with uh, some kind of vitamin e moisturizer just like this oh uh, it has vitamin e also but it it has vitamin e I think in more concentration than the previous one so you can pretty much use this and uh, it is a, an amazing moisturizer and I, I am literally gonna buy it but I am waiting for a sale so that I can buy it in a cheaper price uh, the last time I bought it at uh, 300 rupees so I'm waiting for the deal again I bought it from Amazon though so yeah uh, I am gonna buy this again from Amazon when I find the deal again and uh, now let's come to a sunscreen and this sunscreen oh my god i love this sunscreen so much and it is the blessing tree sunscreen lotion so it is an empty and i have a backup also okay so this is the backup uh, it is a hybrid sunscreen and it it has a consistency like a, a lotion but trust me it is like a mattifying sunscreen uh, i have tried uh, some hybrid sunscreens but uh, they are not that mattifying and it it gives a, re a really like nice smooth whitish tint a really subtle whitish tint to my face and see like this is my face i mean this is my hand and this is the tint but, but don't worry the tint goes away within i guess within one or two minutes but uh, this is really mattifying and it does not make my face sweaty you know there are some kind of sunscreens that made my uh, face sweaty but this does not so that's why it is my love i think it is my third bottle if i'm not wrong yeah it is my third bottle so and this is the previous one and you know what don't don't throw it away because it has a great pub i store my hair serum in it and yeah <laughs> so i am definitely uh, i have a backup so what else i'm gonna say i'm definitely buying it again and again and again and for the rest of my life for the rest of years yeah and the last product in this empty haul is this uh hair oil and this is the indie earth red onion anti hair loss this is the hair oil i mostly use because i don't experiment with my hair a lot uh, because i try to use other hair oils in the past but they were so bad that i don't even want to talk about the hair oils so this is the only hair oil that worked for me i'm not saying that it can uh, like uh, control your hair fall to 100 to zero from 100 to zero no like trust me it is hair is genetics so if your hair is falling it mostly because of the genetics or your lifestyle or your diet or maybe you have some hormonal issue and then it comes to the pollution or something else or the sweatiness uh, yeah, 15 to 20 hair is falling a day it's normal so this hair oil is red in color and it is a thick hair oil like it is literally so thick and it has a blend of such amazing herbs and uh, I this is natural and it is a bit costly but I don't know this is the only hair oil this is the only hair care product i use 
uh, I have been using so far. So yeah, don't think that you can apply the hair oil and next day you can go to your school or college. No, it's literally thick. So what I do, I apply, I use it at night and then I wa wa wash my hair in the next day because uh, I just cannot, because they say that uh, you can use this oil and after two hours you can wash your hair. I tried this technique, but in that way, uh, my hair fell a lot more than not doing that technique. So I mostly use the hair oil at night and uh, I don't do the, the extreme chumpy, you know, because uh, the extreme chumpy uh, for the reason my hair fell so much so I, I stopped doing the chumpy uh, I think yeah I I bought it from Amazon yeah this is the consistency of the oil it is red in color so I bought this item from Amazon so it is basically you can like use this and then do this and very effectively you can apply your hair oil because uh, this this liquid thing did not come with this hair oil anyways and uh, yes you can try this and the smell is it smells like onions and black seed oil like yeah kalo jeera ke ki bole yeah it, it it is some kind of yeah spice and the red uh, onion it smells like and it is a thick oil but it worked for me and i don't know i have a backup also but i don't want to go up there but anyways i literally like this formula and i i am literally going to use it until I get to my 30s sorry I mean 70s or 90s or yeah I, I, I am only gonna use it so if you like this video then like this video uh, share this video it is it was a kind of an empty haul and a mini review so <laughs> okay uh, yeah take care and drink a lot of water and I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, bye